Okay, folks, this one's got potential. It's going to be a tricky one, perhaps. We'll soon find out. But it's got potential, this one. Uh, nice and sparkly. This will go, I think, 400. Okay, let's see what this is. It is a beaded bracelet with a charm. So I've got this charm, it's got love is kind, it's no whatever, it's just a, some, some kind of lovey-dovey thing that they've got on there and it's just like glass beads, which I really like, and little metal, they look like metal, hopefully they're not plastic. So yeah, this is it, going to utilise it. As a demo piece, I'm going to make this into something. I'm going to try and make it. It's a tricky one, but trying to get it to into a nice uh, arrangement uh, to utilise as a demo. To use in my demo, it's tricky, folks. I do think. Going to put the dock feeder on it, so I'm just going to grab a sheet of blank paper that I discarded, or well, not discarded, but not using for the photocopier. So I just put that on top. Yeah, that's come up looking quite a treat, actually, uh, considering. I was thinking of turning it into a movement piece. Uh, Yeah, we're going to do something different, folks, with this. I don't know if it's going to work. Well, I'm going to turn this into a movement piece. I'm going to use this as a movement. I don't know how that's going to work with this. Let's see how we go. Yeah, that looks interesting. Uh, not quite what we're after. Um, it's got potential. I do think maybe we can move it, jerk it back and forth, back and forth. Um,
yeah, that looks interesting. Not quite what I'm after. Although I do like the shape of this um, in some ways. And this one looks interesting. Um, Sorry, the camera work wasn't too good. Anyway, I tried to make this uh, go on an angle, but it looks like it's not. But we could utilize this at 400%, perhaps. So I'm just gonna take this and put it aside. I do think maybe I should have done it at 400. I'm going to utilize this section. Movement is notoriously difficult to control, folks. Just realise that. And that's come up looking quite interesting. Uh, I'm not quite liking the simplicity of the shapes, the minimalism, uh, even though it still looks nice. Yeah, that looks interesting. Again, it's a very uh, a minimalist kind of aesthetic we have here. Uh, I don't like minimalism much, to be honest, folks. Uh, I do want a bit more uh, interest, a bit more detail. So maybe, perhaps, we're going to make this uh, 370 by 300. And 70 for some reason we're going with that amount so we're going to try that again just got to hold it with my hand and just move it around so fuck so folks Yeah, looks interesting. Uh, still looks a bit on the minimalist, but it could be utilised. I do think we can make this into a mo movement piece again. Yeah, that looks shit house, folks. I don't like this. I really don't. It's just shit. I do wonder... If I'm going to try that again, I'm going to utilise that 
Uh, I don't know, folks. I don't know what to do with it, folks. I'm going back to this, uh, even though it seems pointless. Uh, going to leave it on 100. I'm going to try again. I'm going to try and do another spin. This is looking shit. I don't know why I'm bothering with it, folks. Um, it's coming out minimalist. I don't like minimalism, folks. I don't like it, even though it can look nice. I do wonder. Maybe I could stretch this across and that could look something. Well, maybe not. I'm confused, folks. I really am fucking confused as to what I'm going to do with this piece. This piece is fucking me up, folks. It's fucking me up. It's too fucking hard. Sorry, folks. I don't normally say it's too hard. It's too hard when I'm doing an artwork. But I do find some pieces really do drive me nuts. But, you know, anyway, that's come up looking quite nice. It's minimalist, but I like the shape of it, and I can just stretch it across and make it into something nice. There is, it could be called semi-minimalist because it has elements of, of complexity, and it's got still a simple... The simplicity of uh, a minimalist piece. So it's what I call semi-minimalism, folks. I don't know if anyone else has perhaps coined a, a phrase, a, a term or a similar term. But yeah, semi-minimalism or semi-minimalism. Something a bit different, folks. But art is, art is often a very difficult thing to execute, especially even though people think, often think photocopier art is easy. It can be easy, you do get a really easy run sometimes, but at other times, like any other kind of art, it can be difficult. It can really be a challenge, you know. It really challenges you uh, to think outside the box, uh, to think differently. And to, and to not give up when things are getting tough. That's looking better. That looks a lot better now. But it is, it's a really, it's really like a cross between minimalism and something that's got more woo, detail. I've been doing lots of prolongated demos lately. Uh, oh man, I'm hungry. I'm getting a headache from getting hungry, folks. <laughs> I'm going to have to take maybe a, a um, paracetamol. As well as have my lunch.
So that's these pieces here, these mirrored pieces to go together. That's that one there and this one here. Yeah, that's come up looking uh, quite interesting. I think we can now call this demo quits.